Our top story this hour, the national conventions have drawn the battle lines for the final weeks of the election and soon the two candidates will be engaging in a war of words on live television at prime time. But before the presidential debates, the presidential candidates have already called for a fight on Twitter this time. A couple of days ago, President Trump was accused of describing war veterans as losers, although Trump has denied all accusations. But the blue rival quickly picked up the reports and uploaded a campaign video on Trump's anti-veteran narrative. Take a look. What the f*** are we doing that for? Guy was a f***ing loser. Why are you constantly coming after veterans? It's what's so disgusting about him. I served in the Marine Corps. I'm a fourth generation veteran. I am a Navy veteran. I served for 20 years. I served 20 years on active duty. I served for five years. So now I'm about to read some excerpts from a new Atlantic article. When President Donald Trump canceled a visit. Trump said, why should I go to that cemetery? It's filled with losers. It's filled with heroes. The people who gave their lives saved the free world. Trump referred to the more than 1,800 Marines who lost their lives at Bella Wood as suckers for getting killed. You can't love the military and call someone who got killed a sucker. He expressed contempt for the war record of the late Senator John McCain. He's not a war hero. I like people who weren't captured. I was taught John McCain's example is how to serve and suffer with honor. When McCain died in August 2018, Trump told his senior staff, we're not going to support that loser's funeral. Donald Trump's disrespect for the men and women who serve this country. It's a threat to our national security. It's Trump asked, who are the good guys in this war? Us, sir. We were the good guys. After White House briefing, Trump turned to AIDS. You keep turning to these AIDS. You need to keep your mouth shut and get your heart right. That guy is smart. Why did he join the military? He would join the military because he cares about his country, because he loves his country. It is an incredible honor, and that's just something President Trump will never understand. What these quotes did for me was set a new fire under me to do my part as a woman veteran to make sure that Joe Biden is the next commander in chief. I believe that with all my heart that he's going to protect the military. The president who has spent the week defending himself against the new allegations has once again sought to paint a dark image of America under a Biden presidency. The Trump campaign has released a new video on Twitter which looks like this. Your fellow citizens for exercising their rights to peacefully protest. Peacefully protest. The peacefully protest. The peacefully protest. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Apart from all the accusations and negative campaigns, President Trump seems to have...